Hey, this is Michael Rosso at the Film Photography Project Studio, today with a crash course on how to use the Polaroid 100 automatic land camera. This camera was manufactured in 1963 by Polaroid Corporation, and today it is still as popular as ever. And you may see this camera in yard sales, car boot sales, cer certainly on eBay, and in our very own film photography store. So you may say, how can I use this camera? What film to use with this camera? Well, I'm going to answer all those questions and hopefully more within the next few minutes. Let's take it from the top with this camera and fold it up so I could show you what it looks like with its cover on. There it is with its cover on. First thing we should uh, think about is when you're buying it, if you're buying it online, ask about, especially eBay, ask about the battery compartment. Uh, don't be afraid to email the, the uh, seller and say can you please check the battery compartment and let me know if there's any corrosion because nine times out of ten you'll receive your beautiful camera in the mail and the battery compartment will be completely corroded out as you can see here a big disappointment when you pay for your auction and wait all those days then your camera comes and you can't use it so this is not the end of the world by the way these compartments can be cleaned out at the end, I'll give you my email address. You can send me an email if you have any questions, but do ask that question first. In the case of the Polaroid 100 automatic in my hand right now, this had, had a very clean battery compartment, and I was able to replace the, the battery that it came with, I'll shade this so you can see better, with a brand new 4.5 volt battery. This camera was in really awesome shape when I got it. Let's figure out how to use it. Second question that you will ask yourself when you get the camera is, does it work? Let's say the, the battery compartment is clean and you put a new battery in. You want to make sure that your camera works. Now, in order to do that, you uh, open up your camera, which, by the way, very quickly, we'll do this again, just so we are very clear on how to do this. So, no violence, never violence when you are using uh, any type of camera. If you can't do something, don't yank, don't pull, no violence. Here's the camera. The first thing you have to do is lift the cover off. And here it is. You just lift up here. And the cover will dangle. And there is a clip here that you just press, and the cover will pop off. Usually I use my thumb, like so. Up top, there is a number one right here. And if you, by lifting that up, that allows your bellows, make sure you flip your eyepiece up, your bellows to come out, and your bellows will click into place. And then to close your bellows, uh, right here it says press to close. You just gently press that, and then push your camera in. Now you're ready to put your camera away. So one more time, the number one, you lift up, your bellows will come out, click open and now you're ready to shoot first thing you want to do is test your shutter you will fire this camera by of course hitting the red button before that you will cock your shutter which is right here the camera shutter will open and close by hearing two clicks if you do not hear the two clicks you, your shutter is not operating to actually test this you will go to the bottom of your camera as if you're loading film this lever right here open that opens the back of your camera and then you could look through your camera you can see that right there cock your shutter and when you press the shutter button you will see the lens actually open now take a look look at that now because there's not much light on my shoulder the shutter is remaining open as some as a bit of a time exposure but then it uh, it closed so very important there. Now that we've established that the shutter works, by the way, quick tip, even if your battery compartment is clean, if you have a faulty shutter, make sure that your battery leads are actually connected to your battery. Sometimes they fall off when you're out and about and you're shaking about, uh, a lead may pop off. So don't fret if you get like a black frame. That means your battery connector got disconnected. Use a piece of tape to keep this on there. So, now that we've established the camera works, now what? Well, you need to load some film. And film today is available by Fujifilm, FP100C, which is color. 
FP3000B, which is black and white. In order to load film, you pull your film out of its container, you open up the package, and here is your pack of film. You could take this out in uh, subdued light. You do not need a dark room because the film ships with a black card on it that protects the actual film. You will open up the bottom of your camera. This is a pretty easy procedure once you get the knack of it. Uh, there are two clips right here that hold your pack film in place. Right here, butterfly clip. You may want to push that down because that puts kind of pressure on your film pack. And these days, the film pack is made of plastic, not of metal, like it was when Polaroid made the film. So you don't want to put any undue pressure on the film, and you don't want any, any breakage when you're trying to pull your film out of the camera. So here we go. I'm going to take the film, this side facing the inside of your lens. That's where your exposure will be. This is the back. And you will... Ease, very easily, if you can see here, pop the film in. This pops, this kind of slides right in. It snaps into place. Make sure your tabs are all out and not being caught. And then you will close your camera. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is pull out your black card. This is the uh, card that was protecting your film from light, but now that it's in the camera, you want to pull that out, and you will do that very gently, but at the same time with very even, an even pull. The worst, you don't want your, your film to snap inside your camera, so let's do that right now. Okay, so the black card is out. Here is your first exposure, and you're ready to shoot with your camera now that you've established that the shutter actually works. Okay, what to do? Up top here, you will see these two levers, and this is your focusing. As you can see, moves the bellows in and out. On the back of your camera, your eyepiece. Here is your window for when you're composing and taking your shot, and right to the side of that, whoops, right here, is uh, your focusing. This is a range finder, so you will see a split image of your subject in the middle, and you will look through this little hole to focus, and then here to compose and shoot your shot. So you will look through your camera, and as you're looking through, you will focus up. You will then cock your shutter and then you will take your shot. That's the crash course on how to use this camera. Please note that there are other, other videos online where you can see uh, more detail how to load, how to eject film, and some tips on using this type of camera. Uh, and I, should always po I should also point out to you folks that uh, this camera, you need to uh, set your ASA for your film, which is right here. 75 ASA or 3000 ASA. So, that's it. My name is Michael Rosso, and I host the Film Photography Podcast Internet Radio Show, and that is at filmphotographyproject.com. And, of course, if you'd like to send me an email, podcast at filmphotographyproject.com. And, of course, don't forget about our store for film and for cameras, filmphotographystore.com. See you next time.